All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning, and how is everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well. Coming from you, coming to you live here from Washington State on a lovely Friday morning. Today is March 12th, 2021. It's a Friday, beginning of the weekend for some. Uh, Jasper's on the floor in the sun, bathing in the sun, basking in the, in the, the beautiful solar beams. As he cleans, he loves basking in the sun, which is why I have the blinds up uh, for him now. But once we start today with actual gameplay later on, I will have to close the blinds because very sunny. And likely that'll mean it's going to be very warm here during the afternoon again. I'll have to turn on the fan, which is fine. The fan actually cools it down pretty significantly. And because of, you know, the changes that I had to streams over the last week where Jasper can now join us during the daytime... That means that the door to my office is open. So even though it is quite stuffy in here, it's not as hot as it used to be, which is a great thing. Um, this should certainly help during the summertime when it gets really, really hot. So good stuff. Anyway, welcome to the stream, everyone. Hope that you're all doing well. Hope that you're all ready for some fun gameplay today. Good variety on the stream today <clears throat> between... An incredibly grueling, cripplingly hard, difficult game that has been, I would say, it's it's like a it's a it's a pleasure to to have pain. I know that sounds very weird, but like this game, Ghosts and Goblins, uh, Re Resurrection, is still fun to me, even though I die a million times and it's very very challenging, and there could be some big moments of frustration. Uh, I overall have been having a lot of fun with the game regardless. Um, and I think I'm getting a little better at it, quite honestly. You know, the first stage took me six hours to beat. The second stage took me two hours. And the third stage took me a little over two hours. And now we're heading into the fourth level, the Hellfire Hamlet. And we'll see what happens with this one. <clears throat> Will I be able to beat this entire stage on today's stream? I don't know. But... It's, it's, it's like I told you guys, this game is, is like the origination of the cripplingly hard difficulty style game. It was meant to be a quarter muncher. It was meant to be this hard so that you would spend a lot of money in arcades trying to beat it. Um, and it became a game, you know, when today the equivalent of a game like this would be a, a Soulsborne game, you know. A game set up with cheap debts, beginner's traps. And you know you're going to die a million times trying to figure it out. But once you figure it out, it becomes incredibly rewarding to be able to overcome that level of challenge. You see? So, I've been enjoying playing it on Legendary Difficulty despite the fact that it's going to be a very lengthy playthrough. I don't know how many stages the game has. I mean, I'm on stage 4 right now. And then stage 5 is the first one where they don't allow you to pick an alternate path. <clears throat> you're just kind of forced to play the one path. Um, but that's not today. That'll be next time around once we beat the stage that I'm on right now. Um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Again, I could be playing this for weeks or I could be beating this within the next week depending on how many levels there are because I don't know. We shall see. Um, so good stuff today. Today we take on Hellfire Hamlet. We'll see if I can beat it in one stream or not. There will be many channel points predictions made. If you remember last time around, it was shocking because the first prediction was, could I make it to the first checkpoint in 20 lives? I made it in like five. And everyone was like, what the? I was shocked too. <laughs> I was just as shocked as you guys that I got I got to it in that relatively quick amount of time. Of course, then the second half of the stage, oh, the second half of the stage was very challenging. Not even close to being as quick moving as the first half. So, so we'll see what happens today. Should be a good time. Now, later tonight, the late stream is my weekly throwback Street Fighter session, which obviously I'm excited for. I absolutely love playing Street Fighter once a week. I know you guys love watching me play Street Fighter once a week. Uh, it's always a good time. <clears throat> you guys get to use your channel points to pick a few fighters for me to use. That's at 6.45 p.m. Pacific time later tonight. So I hope to see you on the late stream for fun Street Fighter action. Okay? Tomorrow, we shall return to Call of Duty for the first time in a very long time. I can't even remember the last time I played Call of Duty, which is funny because I've been playing it so much, and for some reason here, I'm taking like a break, almost a week, right? 
Um, so Call of Duty <clears throat> tomorrow as the main gameplay stream. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now this is going to be interesting for multiple reasons. All right. The first reason is because I've unlocked the machete and it's a very good melee weapon. I'm enjoying using it. It's fun. The second reason is because I've unlocked the Farah 83, which is the new gun that was added with the expansion about two weeks ago that everyone is saying is incredibly good and everyone seems to be using this gun in multiplayer. Um, the, the catch here is I haven't unlocked any of the good uh, attachments for it yet. It takes a while, I know, from, from using the other weapons. It could take two, three sessions of me using the same gun to finally unlock all the good attachments for it. So, I need to play this game a significant amount of time to get all the attachments. And, and yo, what I want to do is I want to build the Farah back up to where I had the Krieg 6, where it's going to be like, like thermals and everything. Okay? So, I'm excited for that tomorrow. I always enjoy doing Call of Duty, especially because you guys get to wager a lot of your channel points. And we have some fun, uh, you know, some fun suspenseful matches. Alright, so that's tomorrow's main gameplay stream. Now, tomorrow night... Saturday night, it will be Super Mario 3D World on the late stream. Yes, I am still trying to complete Champions Road. I've gotten to the end of it. <clears throat> I've gotten close to beating it, but I didn't. And some people are actually saying this time around, if I cannot beat it with Luigi legit, just pick Princess and do it. Because I guess I guess the catch is if you actually use Princess Toadstool or Princess Peach or whatever you want to call her, uh, essentially you can beat the final stage way easier because you can hover over all the lasers at the end. It makes it more manageable. Um, so, we'll see. Uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. And maybe I'll beat it Saturday night. Okay? Now, hold on one second. Because my nose is bothering me. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Let me blow my nose quickly. I'll be right back. We'll continue. Give me a sec. Okay, that's a little better. Hooey. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, about the rest of the weekend. All right. Let's talk about the rest of the weekend, okay? First of all, normally I would be here Sunday and Monday, okay? Last weekend, I streamed Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And I can guarantee you I'm definitely going to be here for some of those days, okay? I wish right now I could definitively tell you I'm going to be here this day, this day, this day, and this is what I'm playing. Right now, I can't do that. My wife is still waiting to get her fucking schedule. I'm, you know, I'm gonna be honest here. I'm frustrated. She's frustrated, and everyone at her job is currently frustrated. Apparently, there's a manager there that's la uh, slacking. I don't know what the, what the better word is, uh, and not putting out a schedule in a timely manner for the employees. It was supposed to be out earlier this week, and it's, here we are at the end of the week, and she doesn't know when she's working. To give you some perspective here, she only has a schedule through tomorrow. So she could have to work Sunday and doesn't know it. You know, we when we went grocery shopping on Wednesday, we just kind of assumed that she was going to have a day off in the middle of the week. We don't know that. Like, we assumed maybe Wednesday she'll have a day off or whatever. So we bought food long enough to last till, like, Wednesday. But, psh, you know, we don't have a schedule right now. So right now it, it affects me too. You know, it sucks because my... Work schedule is dependent on her so that we can have the day off to spend together and everything. <clears throat> and right now, we just don't have anything. Um, so here's what I can tell you. Here's what I'm planning to play the next several days that I have a gameplay stream. All right? Number one, there will be more Divinity. There will be more Ghosts and Goblins. All right? And since I'm enjoying Call of Duty so much, it's a strong chance that I may even do more Call of Duty as a main gameplay stream. We'll see. But in addition to that... Um, oh my god, excuse me. In addition to that, uh, there's a viewer's choice poll going on right now on my forums. And people are voting for what game they want to see me play as a major playthrough. And by the way, I should say this, the voting is very close. Okay? 
the voting is incredibly close. In fact, from what I saw this morning, the voting is determined only by like three votes. If three people right now went and voted, they could completely change the face of the voting for the viewer's choice event. Okay? So just to let you guys know, that's how close it is. If you've not voted on the viewer's choice event yet, you absolutely should. Your vote counts right now more than ever. You could flip the whole vote on its head if you wanted to. Okay? So, how do you do so? Type exclamation point viewer's choices to the stream chat. That'll bring up the link. Go over there. Check it out. And if you have not voted, please vote on the game and or games that you would like to see me play. Because there's a very strong chance that if not over this weekend, then next week, but likely over the weekend. I'm going to be determining the viewer's choice playthrough, all right, based on your votes. Now, another thing that I want you guys to understand, okay, um, Jasper, get your paws off there. He's, he's trying to take stuff off my table now because he's bored. <laughs> get your paws off of there. You want to play with something, play with this twisty. Right here, this twisty. <laughs> there he goes. Here he goes again. He wants to play with the twisty. Oh, that's cute. He bites it. Arr. That's it with his teeth, and he's batting at it with his paws. You hear the jingle jingle as he does this. There you go. Okay, so anyway. Um, getting back on the subject. Uh, viewer's choice. So I'm going to start this playthrough, whatever it may be, likely over the weekend or early next week. Okay, so it's going to happen sooner rather than later. And therefore, you should, number one, you should vote right away. You should get your vote in as quickly as possible. All right? <laughs> But the other thing I want to let everyone know is just because you go over and you look at the results of the, of the voting so far, don't get discouraged. I have to audit that. I have to look at that because I can tell you right now, I've already found evidence of fraud. I already found within like a five-minute period, five newly registered accounts with no real info, no chat history, all registered and all voted for the same game back to back to back. It's like, yes, I'm sure in five minutes, uh, you know, five completely unrelated people, right? Would come to the forums and do that. They're totally not bot accounts, right? So what I need to do is I need to look at things like IP addresses and the like. Make sure we don't have any fraudulent duplicate votes. And I'm going to be doing that over the weekend. Okay? So. Come Sunday, Monday, likely I will have a determination on the real voting results. So I would say head out over there, vote now. And then I will audit those results and make sure that they're they're legit. <coughs> I got to make sure that all the mail-in votes are counted properly. Remember, <laughs> with COVID, we have a significant amount of mail-in votes. Yeah, right. But anyway, just so you guys know, I think the games that are currently at the top of the polls are Hades, Hollow Knight, Max Payne 2, and Danganronpa V3. Like, those are the ones that are at the very top of the polls. Again, not to say that that won't change because there's games under there, less than 10 votes under those, that could easily be voted up right now and make it into the running. But you, again, you guys have to take this seriously. If you have not voted yet, I really recommend you do. The top game only has like 40-something votes. That's it. That's not a lot. You're telling me 40 people are going to determine what game I play that hundreds if not thousands of people will be watching on stream and on YouTube over the next month or two. You see what I'm saying? Like That's a tremendous amount of power. <clears throat> that's got to happen. It's got to have you got to you got to exercise your right to use your viewer powers to vote. Okay? So please vote if you have not and over the weekend I will determine the next game. So anyway, even though I don't have a schedule for you guys. Basically, I can tell you I'm streaming through tomorrow. I don't know if I'm streaming Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I have no idea. I tell you what, if I have a day off, it's only going to be one day. Okay? It'll be you likely one of those days. And the other days, like I said, I'll be continuing with Divinity. I'll be continuing with um, with Ghosts and Goblins, and I'll be continuing with uh, Call of Duty, and I may start the Viewer's Choice playthrough, okay? Now, late night stuff. Let's think about this right now. Right now, for late night stuff, I don't have much. If you think about it, Mario is about to be done. As of Saturday night, likely I'll beat Champions Road, and that's the end of Mario 3D World. So that playthrough will be completed, okay? Um... And we pretty much determined yesterday that we pretty much are going to put an end to the playthrough of Yakuza 7 because there's really nothing else to do but grind again. I went to the Super Dungeon and got insta-killed. 
I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I've been I've been grinding for a month and a half on a weekly basis. Level 99, every character. <clears throat> Go to the super dungeon, insta death. And we're like, well, I get the feeling that's the end of that. I don't think we're wasting any more time on that, okay? So, a few things. I think number one, this could be a good opportunity for us to bring back Genshin Impact, which I have not played in a while now, and I could play it on PS5, <clears throat> which probably will have better graphics, I feel. I just got to find a way to make sure that my save carries over. Because remember, I was playing it on PS4, and then when PS5 came out, I stopped playing it. So obviously, I want to make sure that I have all my progress carried over. I'm not sure how exactly to do that. I think um, what I need to do is check, make sure that the, that save is in the cloud. I I hope. Um, and then while it's in the cloud, then, then load it onto my PS5. Um, and then continue from where I left off. Keep in mind, I wasn't very far into the game. <clears throat> we got wrapped up with all those PlayStation 5 launch titles, and then with games like Assassin's Creed and Immortals Phoenix Rising, those were open-world Ubisoft-style games over exploration, so I said, we're not playing Genshin until we finish with all of those, which we have now, okay? So, we'll see. I hope that we can maybe start that this week as a night stream. Now, in addition... There's been other games people have been asking for. So people have been saying, what about Maneater? That was a game that you, you got on PS Plus back way in uh, January. <laughs> and you never checked it out. I mean, I could check that out. It doesn't have to be anything serious. It could just be kind of a mess around stream and see what the hell the game's about. Right? No, no risk or anything. Just give it a look. If we don't like it, we don't have to continue it. You know? It was free anyway. But outside of that... um. You know, I'm not sure what else I want to do for the late streams right now. This kind of opens up some possibility. Like, like last night on the Yakuza stream, people were like, wow, we really like hanging out with you. In the last month and a half, these Yakuza streams have primarily just been me having discussions with the viewers. It wasn't about the gameplay. It was about just chilling. And people were making comparisons to previous games such as uh, uh, Animal Crossing or Minecraft, where that was also the case. Now, the thing is, I don't want to go back to Animal Crossing, and I don't want to go back to Minecraft. I'd rather do something different. Or, <clears throat> if it comes down to it, maybe just don't do do one stream a week where I'm just talking with you guys and chilling. It's just the chill stream where we, we relax and we have conversation rather than focus on a game. I could do that, too. I'd be okay with that. I would just hope that everyone uh, would bring discussion. You know what I mean? A one, a one hangout discussion stream a week where it's just about discussing stuff and, and hanging out and that's it rather than every single stream has to be gameplay 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 or if we find a cool a cool game that's a chill game like for, i'll give you an example in april mlb comes out i get the feeling mlb is always going to be a chill stream game who the hell is going to care about the focusing on the baseball aspect of it right but i feel relaxing and having conversation while I play the game, having channel points wagers on, gee, well, if we'll get five hits in the next, you know, in the f next next 10 at-bats, stuff like that, could work, you see? And it could be interesting. <clears throat> so I think that it will be, it will work as a game, but with a few variables added to it, you see? Um, so that's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking this coming week, we're going to add some late-night stuff. We have stuff for the early streams. Like I said, we have uh, Ghosts and Goblins. We have divinity and we're gonna have call of duty so what i want to do is add stuff to the night stream rotations so i'm thinking like genshin impact maybe man eater stuff like that would be a way to add stuff for variety to the late night streams okay jasper what are you doing no i knew it i knew we were gonna do that get away from that bottle cap immediately how dare you <laughs> immediately attacks my seltzer water bottle cap i knew i know this cat i know what he's looking at he's looking for mischief and he found a bottle cap that's bite around. I knew it. Now he's looking up at me. No, you're not getting my bottle cap. In fact, I'm putting it on top of my seltzer. I'm attaching it to the top of the bottle. You're not getting it. Absolutely not. It's not allowed. What a ridiculous notion that you think that you would get my bottle cap. Hey, you get down off of there. My laptop desk is not for you to jump on, buster. <laughs> oh my god, this cat. This cat is a rascal. He's the definition of a rascal. <laughs> All right, anyway. 
He's very silly. Anyway, <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking. Now, on the 18th, which is less than a week away, there's going to be an expansion for Avengers. All right. Finally, they're adding in the PlayStation 5 version of the game that supposedly is going to run better. I don't know how much better. And they're adding an expansion for a Hawkeye plotline. So I'm going to check that out. I'm not promising or committing to finishing it. I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know how boring it's going to be, to be quite frank with you guys. Um, but I kind of want to give it a shot, considering the fact that I paid full price for the game, and all I ever did was play through the campaign, which wasn't the most riveting thing. Um, and I kind of feel like I didn't really get my money's worth out of the game. So I want to check that out on the 18th when it comes out. Okay? But outside of that... There's not much going on this month for games at all. It's funny because people are like, oh, Avengers are boring. You're right, but what else is out? Nothing. There's no fucking releases. Like, seriously, there's no fucking releases out for any of this stuff. Nothing. It's, it's, it's lame. There's been no new games of any interest this month. It's been an incredibly slow month. Uh, next month will be different. Next month, there's supposed to be multiple new releases that are all looks like they'll be pretty interesting. And then May and June, things really ramp up. <clears throat> all right? But for now, like, I don't know what exactly you guys would want me to do. See, the thing is, Smoke Carl says, well, you're the king of retro. Play something old. All right? You want to know what I would like to play? I'd like to play Chrono Trigger. Guess what I can't play? Chrono Trigger. Because I'm already playing an RPG. And if I play Chrono Trigger, people will complain that I'm playing too many RPGs. You see? I'm basically stuck out of playing RPGs for like a year because you guys want me to play fucking Divinity. <laughs> Just being honest here. I am. I'm locked out. I'm locked out of playing stuff that I'm interested in because I can't play RPGs now. Sucks. <clears throat> Sucks. <laughs> Sucks. It really does. No, I don't want to play Dino Crisis. Get out of here, Dino Crisis. <laughs> Stop Divinity and ban anyone who requested it? Alright, I don't think we're going to do that. No, I don't think we're doing that. But, at the same time, you have to understand, you see how slow-paced that game is. I've now played it for almost 20 hours, right? We're still in the, in the first area. Like, that game is going to take fucking all year. It really is going to take all year to beat. I really feel that. Like, I'll be playing it consistently. And what's gonna, here's what's going to happen. Come April, new games are going to come out. I'm not going to be able to play it all the time as the mainstream. Come May and June, those are months full of new releases. I'm going to be playing nothing but new releases. And Divinity will likely end up having to be a late night stream. So, you're going to see for two, three months, I'm not going to be able to play it as much. So, we're going to basically, in, in, in a, a two to three week time frame here, we've played about 20 hours. Okay, I'm going to continue doing that for the rest of March. I would assume probably we'll get 40 to 50 hours into the game. And then all of a sudden, I'm going to play it way less because new releases are going to be out. So then it's going to like go at a snail's pace for a month or two, you know. <clears throat> Golden Colts, I'm not playing VR and you know that. We've talked about that many times. So I'm done with VR games. VR games don't match my streaming style of being an interactive streamer. <laughs> okay so anyway anyway guys um that's kind of the deal i wish right now i could promise you set days with a set schedule i can't what i'm hoping is my wife will come home from work today and say i finally got the schedule now we can plan our week and i'll be like hallelujah let's plan the week let's do it now i know what days i can stream now we know what meals we need for each day and we can plan our day off and all of that I, I pray to God this happens today because I don't know why these retail jobs feel that they could be so unprofessional. But it doesn't matter. It seriously doesn't matter if you're hourly, if you're salary, if you're union or non-union job. If it's a retail job, I swear to God these places are so unprofessional. They really, really get away with liberties. Let's just put it that way. They really get away with these liberties where other jobs are way more professional, they would have things that they promise you as, as soon as, you know, they're promised. These places are just like, and especially now, especially now, during COVID, the, the attitude of many of these companies out there, all right, and it's not just one, this is a lot, I know for a fact, you're lucky to have a job. 
So you're lucky to have a job and you just basically put up with whatever because you want or need this job. So tough shit. And that's a bad attitude to have in my opinion. It should be the opposite. It should be, wow, we're grateful that we have workers who are coming out here, you know, essential workers during the pandemic and risking their health to come out here and work. Instead, it's kind of the opposite. It's kind of like, you know, I hate, that's why I always have hated retail, honestly. It's like some of the jobs I've had in retail are very good and fun. Like when I worked at Circuit City, outside of one manager who was an actual prick, the rest of the time I worked at Circuit City, which was well over a year, like a year and a half, I actually enjoyed every moment of it. <clears throat> I was actually a little sad when I left there because I actually really enjoyed selling computers and cameras. I learned so much about them when I worked there. My manager was actually a nice guy who was probably one of the best managers I've ever had in my life. He understood that retail is not just about numbers. It's not lying to the fucking customer to try to get a sale. It's about actually having a, a good experience and a rapport with that customer. So that customer feels like when they came into the store, right, they got not only value for what they spent, but they now know a little bit more about what they're bought so that they don't go home like a dunce and not know what they're doing. You know what I mean? Like, I would try to educate the customer a little bit. Here's how this camera works. Here's the accessories you need. Here's something extra if you want to go the extra mile. And when you are honest with the customer, you can go real far. Will you be the best seller in the store? Probably not. But as long as you're honest with the customer and you can honestly explain to them how everything works, a lot of customers really appreciate that because most people don't have that level of knowledge anymore at retail. You know, but anyway, that's a long time ago. We're talking, you know, that was the first half of the 2000s. Now, good luck going to a retail store and finding a single person who they trained a minute to know anything about anything. Good Lord. I don't know why I'm ranting about retail today, but <laughs> I'm going on one of my rants. One of my bo people call it the boomer rants. I'm going on a boomer rant. There you go. But anyway, um, <clears throat> all that being said, uh, it is annoying. You know, I, and of course, I can't blame my wife. My wife has needed to have this work schedule change for a very long time. She's hated working nights. She had to start working nights because she was forced to. They wouldn't give her days. Basically, the daytime shifts were reserved for people who had been there for a very long time and people who had a set, for some, oh, non-flexible schedule and stuff like that. Well, she's finally worked there long enough now that they give her the shifts that she wants but now, basically, things have changed with the job responsibilities, with the scheduling and everything. It's, it's frustrating. It's like it's a mixed bag because the job's better now and the risk of, of things like crime and stuff is way lower. But now you got to put up with the What's the new frustration? They won't even tell you when you work. <laughs> Great. So anyway, um, that being said, I will let you guys know as soon as I know. Maybe even as early as tonight. It would be great if tonight I could say, all right, guys, I'm going to be here Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It looks like Wednesday's my day off, but I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm able to allow that. I don't know if I'll have any information. <sighs> Good Lord. Anyway, guys, enough about that. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for allowing me to be the person who I want to be here as a content creator on the internet over 12 years i've been an independent guy basically just doing what he what he's enjoys loving games hanging out with you guys having a good time being honest that's what it's all about i don't have any sponsorships i don't have any exclusive contract to stream anywhere i don't get paid just for turning on the stream because i am an independent it means i can say and do whatever i want on my streams and be honest with you guys every single stream but it also means that it's all about crowdfunding. You guys appreciating the fact that I'm an honest guy and coming out and supporting me on the streams. And I really appreciate that. As I've told you guys, I love coming to stream every single day. I love playing the games. I love hanging out with you, having the fun social interactions. Everything's great. You know, I couldn't complain at all about my job. I love it. <clears throat> and that being said, I really appreciate the fact that you guys support me and my efforts to keep doing what I love for a living. Very few people on this planet get to do what they love for a living, and I do. And I know that, and I'm, I'm not, I don't take that for granted. Trust me, I know exactly how rare this is and how lucky I am for, to have this as my job. And I thank you guys every day for it, you know. I really appreciate uh, you guys supporting me. So, that being said, if you like the streams, please support them today. You could cheer, you could sub, you could gift the subscription, you could tip me. All those things are great. 
um, contributions are not mandatory, nor are they expected. Everyone is welcome here. It is a free stream. It always will be a free stream. That's my model. That'll always be my model. But if you like what I do and you want to support it, please contribute. That's how I make my living. Like I make my living based off of crowdfunding on the streams. So thank you to those who do support it. All right. As you guys know, I try to give a shout out to every single contribution that comes in. Now, sadly, we get some people who come in here and try to troll and do stupid shit. Obviously, I'm not going to shout those out. But anything that's positive that comes in here, I give a shout out for because I'm so grateful for you guys for supporting my efforts to keep doing this. All right. Um, we have some rewards in effect here. <clears throat> if you guys know Jasper, you're not. No, do not jump up there. Do not jump up on my laptop table. It does not support the weight of a kitty. <laughs> it's only meant to hold a laptop, for God's sakes. Okay, anyway. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> Got distracted there by the cat. Um, oh, we have some rewards in effect for levels of tips that I raise during a live stream. If we raise $50 in tips, I'll put on my gunner glasses. If we raise $100 in tips, you guys get to pick a vest for me to wear. Now, yesterday... It was the platinum vest. No, you're not. I just said don't jump up here. I just said that. See, now you knocked stuff over. I just said not to do it. He doesn't listen. He's a very naughty cat sometimes. Do not jump up there. Knocked all my stuff over. I knew he was going to do that, too. Anyway. um, Yes. For $50, I'll put on the gunner glasses. For $100, I'll put on a vest. You have many, many options for the vest. Okay, you do. Jasper! Jasper Kitty! That's it. He's biting a wire. I had to spray him. I didn't want to. He's biting a wire over there. Jasper, do not bite the wires. You're going to get hurt. Oh, my God. He's being a pain in the butt today. I'm never going to get through this pre-stream at this rate. Jasper, you got to behave. What are you doing? Why are you biting wires? You know that's bad. Don't bite the wire. Oh, good Lord. I had to, I couldn't even get to him in time because he already had the wire in his mouth. I had to spray him because there was no way I could get to him in time to stop him. I didn't want him to get hurt. <clears throat> now I feel bad. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, <laughs> trying to get back on subject here. If we raise fifty dollars of tips today, I'll put on the gunner glasses. If we raise a hundred dollars of tips, which is the tips goal for the stream, I'll put on a vest of your choice. Now, yesterday I wore the platinum vest. That means today the beige, the blue, the red. The camo and the gray would be eligible. Okay? <laughs> Those are the ones for today. Now, if by some freak chance we double the tips goal today, I'll put on two vests at once, which is incredibly ridiculous. But I'll do it if that's what you guys want. And, uh, you know, for higher levels of tips, you know, achieved, we could do other silly things like putting on a hat and stuff like that. But, you know, we'll talk about that if and when we get to that. <clears throat> Alright, by the way, let me turn on my fan because it's getting hot in here. Just the sun... Being out today, this office gets hot. So I'm going to go turn on the fan. Ugh. All right. Turn on medium for now. You got to behave, buddy. You do. You have to behave. Come on. Ugh. I turned on medium. If it gets hotter, I have to turn it on even hotter, or higher here. But okay. So that's the deal. All right. Now. A couple quick things, guys. Number one, some tips for those of you who are thinking of maybe contributing today and hanging out on the stream. I strongly recommend that, number one, you do not use a name here on Twitch that is the same as your real-life name or a name that you use on other social media sites. Sadly, there are people who hang out on Twitch just to be malicious shitheads. They just want to troll you and harass you because they can get away with such actions on the internet anonymously. And the last thing you want is to someone to try to stalk you on another site because you're using the same name everywhere. See what I'm saying? So, I ask you to diversify your online presence. Do not use the same information everywhere. That will avoid that kind of behavior. Okay? Now, in addition to that, um, I strongly recommend you turn off open direct messages here on Twitch. Open direct messages are very frequently used for trolling purposes and harassment. There's people who come in here and they're like, Oh, I, I want to support Phil. They do. And the next thing you know, their DMs are full of, of assholes harassing them. For contributing to a stream. I strongly recommend you turn off your direct messages or turn them off from being open. I have minds so that only people on my friends list here can direct message me. Okay? Fair enough? Okay. Um. So all that being said, thank you to anyone who does contribute. 
if you are thinking of tipping me today, which obviously is a preferred method of contribution that helps me in the short term and you get a good shout out for it. In addition, we get these rewards for reaching tip levels. Uh, I strongly recommend and actually request that you make a verified PayPal account. Why? I'll tell you why. Because if you have a verified PayPal account, I know I can trust your tip. Verified means that you link real life information about your identity to your account, including things like your bank account, uh, you know, other identification and qualification information that, that PayPal asks for. And when you have a verified account, you're actually held responsible for your actions. You know, I had people who were coming here with stolen credit cards, tipping me thousands of fake dollars over the course of the fall, and it completely destroyed my PayPal account. Not only did all that, those funds have to be refunded, but then I had fees and things associated with it, which, you know, what the hell did I do to deserve that? I didn't do the fraudulent activity, right? But yeah, I was held accountable for it as if it was my fault. I had to pay fees and all kinds of shit. Really dumb. So, I would ask that if you are going to tip, please go the extra mile, all right? And please make a verified PayPal account. That way, I know I can trust your tips. And I know that it's not someone trying to screw with me or harass me, okay? Ugh. Well, I hope this flashlight still works. I got a flashlight in the office here. And it's always worked, but I guess the batteries have been in there for a couple of years and I just noticed it wasn't working. I opened it and one of them was corroded. I hate when that shit happens, when the battery corrodes. Because it could destroy the electronic. So this flashlight may not even work and it's a really good flashlight. It would suck if this thing's broken now because of a, a, a random corroded battery. The battery wasn't even expired. The battery said it was good till 2026, yet it's corroded. Stupid. <sighs> anyway. So guys... Please consider making a verified PayPal. If you have a verified PayPal, it makes me know that I can trust your tip. It makes my streams run a lot more smoothly. And it allows us to not have to sit here and verify every tip that comes in, which I hate doing. But sadly, I've had to do a lot of, you know, to protect my business and myself. Um, but it, also, I recommend this as well. If you're a regular stream attendee and you tip, I recommend that you, when you tip me, put a keyword or code word into your tip message so I know that it's you. There's people who've been using these these words, so I know that it's them because they're repeat tippers. And when I recognized the word, I was like, okay, I definitely know that's the person I trust. I don't have to go verify their tip or anything because they use that word, you see? So I recommend you do that as well. It, uh, it helps out. It really does. Okay? All right. Enough of that baloney. Um, so I already talked about viewer's choice voting. I, already, you know, I pretty much talked about everything. The only other thing I guess to talk about is the sub goal for the month because we haven't talked about that yet. We do have a subscriber goal here for the month of March. It is 725 subscriptions. If we can hit 725 concurrent sub -sub subs during this month, okay, if we do that, I will be doing a very special marathon-style event called the Challenge Run Marathon. We are going to work on selecting a style of classic game for me to do a Challenge Run event in. For example, I'll just give you an example. This is not what we're doing. But if we select classic Super Mario Brothers, what will happen is we'll pick Super Mario Brothers 1 and then the Lost Levels, which is technically the real Super Mario Brothers 2. And during a marathon event, I'll be attempting to do certain milestones of achievement during the event. Like maybe reach the third world in 10 minutes um, playing every stage. No skipping, no warp zones or anything like that. I have to legit beat every stage in the game. And people will be then wagering their penne points or channel points on whether or not I will actually hit said goals during the stream. You see? It's a, a, a fun, different kind of event. I've never done anything like this before. I never had a, It was always, oh, just do a legit playthrough. It was never, oh, like a challenge run where you're trying to achieve a certain level of quality or, or you know, a special challenge event. Can you do this within a certain period of time or within a certain period of lives? I've never really done that before. And so that's what, what's kind of exciting about it. It's something different. Now, I'm just saying, it's not just going to be Mario. It could be anything. It could be any class of games that we come up with. So, that's the idea. You guys seem to like the idea, but we haven't really honed in yet on what it's going to be. If we hit the if we hit the subscriber goal for the month, what I'll do is allow you guys to kind of nominate classic games 
that can be part of the event, and then we can vote on them and stuff. Some people have already said, what about a classic Mega Man run and stuff like that? Yeah, it's possible. It's definitely possible. So, please consider subbing this month if you are not subbed to the channel. You get many benefits, including over 40 emotes. That's right, I said it, over 40 emotes. Some of the most emotes you can get on Twitch if you subscribe to my channel. Also, you get a cool chat crown badge to show how long you've been a supporter. And you don't have to watch advertisements when I take an ad break. So there you go. Many benefits to being a subscriber. You might also, if you want to help out, just give the sub to someone. Someone else, you know. That also helps. Okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on. Now, there's no game news going on at all. Zero. I checked everything this morning. There was, like, no updates on anything, right? Unless I'm wrong. If you guys have any, uh, you know, any news you want to talk about, please, by all means, talk about it in the stream chat right now. Throw it my way. But... There is nothing going on in the realm of game news right now, from what I can see. Um, you know, it's a pretty slow day again, and it just seems like there's going to be tons of slow days right now. Until new games start releasing, I would think next month, there's really no news going on, right? <laughs> let's talk about Turtles. All right, let's talk about Turtles. Sounds good. Can we talk about political news twice a week? No. I don't care. <laughs> I don't call I don't care about political news, nor do I want to talk about it. Very rarely would I ever mention anything political on my streams and only if I feel like I absolutely have to. Um but no, there's no way I'm talking about political shit. So you guys are talking about two day old news that we already talked about twice on the stream, and that's what I mean. Like there's really nothing going on. <clears throat> Did I ever beat the original NES Ninja Turtles? No. I played it and I hated it. The game was so... First of all, I'm going to be honest. The graphics were terrible for the time. They really were. They actually were subpar. The gameplay was also shit. The game ran terribly on NES. It would lock, lock up and lag up a lot because it would infinitely generate enemies, respawning enemies in the sewer levels. And it, would, it was a mess. That game sucked. That game was just, Again, LJN <clears throat> was a game company that got all the licensing. They had big money, so they get all the licensing for all the big things back then. And they made the worst games. They really did. I hated that fucking game. So... <clears throat> All right, Chaz Atoff is now permanently banned from the chat again and not coming back. <laughs> that was a quick one. I just unbanned him this week, too. And all he can do is talk about fucking garbage drama. So he's out of here. Not coming back. What a waste of my time to unban that idiot. <clears throat> Ow. Oh, did you hear that? That was my neck. Oi! My neck was stiff. What's for dinner tonight, Ask for Beef Gaming? We're doing uh, turkey burgers with beans again. We had turkey burgers with beans last week. It was the first time we had, had turkey burgers in like six to eight months. And we did them, and they were so good. Like, seriously, like, we were like, wow, we're, we haven't had these in so long. They're so fucking good, we need them again. So we're having it again. Uh, no, there's no... Oh, my God. Man in a pickle suit says, would you play the original Ghouls and Ghosts uh, after you beat... Resurrection? Are you crazy? Do you think I want to play another game like this right after playing this? No. Fuck no. Maybe in the long term. I have no way I'm playing another one of these games now. That's nuts. <laughs> okay. Alright. I guess we'll do some shout outs for those who have contributed. Since it seems like there's no news stories or nothing to talk about. Alright. Fair enough. So overnight, we had a few uh, contributions. We had Robot Wizard 64 who had subscribed to the channel for three months. Thank you for that. And Lord Coldfire, who had resubscribed for 46 months. That is awesome. Thank you so much for the ongoing support there. Now, people who actually contributed here uh, during the stream while it was running. B-Boy Cyclone resubscribed for 48 months. That's a four-year achievement. That means B-Boy Cyclone has unlocked the best chat crown badge, which is the Diamond Crown. 
A crown made solely of diamond crystals. That is amazing. Imagine actually having that in real life. Having a crown made of diamonds. It's probably worth several million dollars. Uh, pretty amazing. Thank you for four years of support. He said the following. What up, Phil? I got faith in you that you'll complete the game by the end of the year. <laughs> well, let's hope I can beat the game by the end of the fucking year. That'd be pretty bad if I don't. But I understand the game is incredibly difficult, so it's going to be a challenge. We'll see what happens here. Thank you for four years, B-Boy Cyclone. Uh, Sitgo has resubscribed for six months. <clears throat> Excuse me. He says, hi, Phil. Hello, Sitgo. How are you? Thank you for the support. Kevin42 uh, has subscribed to the channel. Thank you for the sub, Kevin42. I appreciate that. Resuvius is here today and is resubbed for a year. Resuvius has been with us for a year. Thank you for the year of support, Resuvius. Enjoy your new chat crown badge. That's a, a nice golden crown encrusted with emeralds and rubies. It's very nice looking. But also, he subbed at tier 2, which helps me out a little bit more. So thank you very much for the tier 2 sub, Resuvius. And he says, happy birthday. Well, not yet. We're getting there, though. My birthday is in three weeks. Let me think about it. Today's the 12th, so it'll be the 19th, the 26th. A little over three weeks till my birthday. And as everyone knows... That first week of April, my special birthday celebration week, I will decorate the office with birthday decorations. We'll have some special festivities planned. <clears throat> you know, some special stuff going on then. All right? Should be a good time. It always is a good time. So thank you, Resuvius, for the sub. I appreciate that. Um, Hate Army Secret Police. Here we go again. There's no Hate Army. And there's certainly no Hate Army Secret Police, but there's a running joke now. Cheerion said, I normally watch YouTube, but I'm in an account to ask you to not drop Yakuza 7. Uh, well, thank you for that. And I would like more feedback about that, but chances are that's pretty much done at this point. Okay? You know, when you grind for a month and a half, I mean, it was a good 10 to 12 hours of grinding, and it wasn't enough to even take make a dent in the Super Dungeon. It's like, Jesus, like, how much time do these fucking guys think I have? Seriously, how much time do they think that I have to put into this? To grind and do this dungeon, you know, obviously more than than I do have, so I doubt that I'm going to be continuing that. Okay, um, snow crawl trees. Have you considered? Oh wait a minute. Uh, hold on a second here. Oh shit. Oh well. All right. Well, guys, I'm sorry. I have to turn off the stream. The feds are here. They're arresting me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I was just checking to see if there were, what the biggest cheer was. If you can believe it, Hate Army Secret Police is the top fucking cheer of the day so far. So, let's put that up on the leaderboard. <laughs> it would be nice if someone could top that cheer just so that that's not sitting up there all day, I'm just saying. But, you know. So, Snow Carl cheered. He says, would you consider not uploading to YouTube anymore and archiving here since YouTube is almost exclusively used by your detractors for montages? I think being able to use clips would be good too. What would stop them from doing the same thing on Twitch exactly? There's nothing to stop them from using Twitch archives or clips. So that doesn't really make much sense. And in addition, I have viewers who have told me that the reason that they, they watch on YouTube is because they don't have a good bandwidth enough to watch live on stream. And I'm not going to abandon the people who've been there for me for years and years just for the sake of Oh, some trolls can't get montage clips or something. It's fucking stupid. So the answer is no. That's not not doesn't make much sense at all. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, army secret police cheered. Trying to pro pro delve into my private life, asking about my wife and her work history, and will she always work? And Barry's an idiot. So let's just go ahead and let's ban him now. Let's just get rid of it now. So that we don't have to worry about his bullshit later. Because you know he's just going to continuously ramp it up over the course of the stream until we're all annoyed. So let's get rid of him now. Okay. Snow Carl cheered and said, What if five people from the chat get together and decide to make accounts to vote for a game during a stream? Would you disqualify those votes? No. I told you, I'm going to be reviewing things such as IP addresses and the like. Um, there's a strong difference between, okay, five unique accounts that come in with unique usernames. And, you know, they all kind of have different email addresses and they all vote separately versus within five minutes, five accounts with similar IPs or the same IP. And, you know, all you can tell it's like disposable account bullshit all come in and vote the same way. It's a very big difference. 
And it's very easy to figure out, too. It's not hard. It's not rocket science to figure out what's a legit vote and what's not. So don't worry about it. That's all I got to say. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Uh, Steven Seagull is here. And he cheered and he said, Uh, hello, S Beast. S Beast? Huh? Any recommendations on Mario Kart games? My wife loves N64 one and Double Dash. I'm looking for more. I don't know why you say S Beast. S the only S Beast I know is S Beast Music, who has made several of my, my musical montage remixes here that I play on the pre stream. <clears throat> so I don't know why you're saying hello, S Beast. But anyway, in regards to uh, Mario Kart games, um. I'm trying to remember which ones I played. I played the original on SNES. I did play the one on N64. I did play Double Dash on the GameCube. Okay. And then I played the original one that was on the original Nintendo DS. That was the one that they had at Evo. Of all things, they had Mario Kart at Evo. Because they were trying to get sponsorship money. Which they did. They took sponsor money to have it at the event. Um, I played the one on Wii, but not very long. Because I didn't like the one on Wii because the Wii one, I bought the wheel accessory for it and the wheel accessory didn't even work. It actually was harder to play that game with the wheel accessory than just playing it with the normal Wiimote, which was really fucking stupid. Um, and then I played Wii U. So I played them all, right? That's all of them. You know, obviously the first one holds a special place in my heart because it's the original one. And I played the shit out of it on SNES back in the day. But man, does that game cheat. And of course, there's no online multiplayer capability for it. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> you know, I really did like Mario Kart. What was it? 8 or whatever. I really did like that one. But the sad part of it was that, you know, it was on Wii U. And it was limited because it was on Wii U. And I only played it a little bit. And I kind of just didn't care about it anymore. Because no one really cared about Wii U. And that was also a time when Nintendo was not very, very welcomed on the internet for social media stuff because they would claim everyone's content. So I didn't do a lot of... I mean, I probably would have done a lot more Mario Kart <clears throat> if they weren't claiming everyone's YouTube videos and I was making a living on YouTube videos at the time. You know, now things are different. But back then, I don't know what Nintendo was thinking. Um... They did re-release it for Switch, but I don't want to play the same game. I just wish they would make a new Mario Kart. You know, like, what are they dragging their feet for? <clears throat> it's like they feel like they don't have to do any work because not as many people played stuff on Wii U as usual on a Nintendo console because it was a low-selling console for them. So it's like, oh, don't do any work. Just pour all those games no one played over to the Switch. That's great and everything, but I played them all, so I want to fucking play a new game. Can you make a new one, please? <clears throat> I would love a new Mario Kart. Serious, I would love a new Mario Kart. Can we have one? Right? Someone just, in fact, just said, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe came out in 2013. That's eight years ago. They still haven't made a new Mario Kart in over eight years? Like, what the fuck? Come on! Stop counting your fucking Amiibo dollars and get to work. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, let's continue. They probably never even finished counting their Amiibo dollars. So many people bought fucking Amiibos. They probably haven't even finished, you know, they haven't gotten to counting their profit from the Switch yet. Anyway, Jay Hawkwood has cheered and says, do a chill YouTube React stream. You can have people submit videos. No. Stupidest idea ever. Timbo Slice cheered. He said, I'm confused. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, my God. Uh. That's absolutely disgusting. He says, You're what? you say your wife works retail, but you say no one that works in retail knows anything and sucks at their job. Uh, allow, allow me to elaborate, all right? It used to be that when you got a retail job, they would try to actually either, number one, hire someone who kind of knew something about what they were going to do at the job, or they would train you. So I'll give you some perspective here. When I worked at Circuit City, they asked me, do you know about computers? Do you know about cameras? At the time, I knew nothing about cameras, but I knew a ton about computers. As I told you guys, I used to build my own PCs. So I explained to them, yes, I know this, I know this. And I, you know, okay, can you describe a computer to me? Sure, here's the components, blah, blah, blah. All right, we want to start you in the computer department, but we also need people for the camera department. So what we'd like to do is start you over there, but we're going to slowly train you on cameras. We're going to pair you up with one or two guys that are experts on cameras so you can learn about them. And that's where we would like you to work to help customers. Okay. Now, keep in mind, this was the first half of the 2000s, all right? 
I learned so much about digital camera. I didn't know anything about digital cameras. I went in there with zero knowledge and I became basically an expert on digital cameras working in Circuit City because they trained me. Okay? That was in the early 2000s. Today, you go into any retail job and basically you don't know shit and they don't train you for shit. They just throw you on the floor and they're like, okay, here's how to use the register. Even if they even teach you that, sometimes they don't. They're like, all right, get out there, start working, start doing this, start doing that. It's like, what? You know, like there was, you know, and as some people say there was an economy crash and essentially now, and I, I explain this to my wife all the time. I say, you understand that retail stores used to actually be considered like luxury shopping. You would go to a store, any store, you know, it could be a department store, it could be any kind of store. You would walk in and the people who worked there would be dressed up nicely, not, you know, like suit and tie. And they would walk up to you and be like, oh, madam or gentleman, can I help you today? What are you looking for? And they would be well-versed on all the products in the store. They would guide, they were basically like a personal shopper. They would guide you through the store. They would get you the stuff you needed. Wanna know why? They worked on commission. What they sold, they actually made a profit from. So there was incentive for the retail worker to be professional and to actually know what the hell they were selling because they would actually make good money working there. <clears throat> okay? It was very different. It was, you know, now it's the lowest skill. You don't need any prerequisite job training or requirement. You just walk in the door, they'll hire anyone, and they throw you into the mix of things. Just go work. Wait, I don't even know what I'm doing. Go out there. <laughs> what? I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm supposed to be expected to do. Don't care. We need bodies out there. Get out there and start selling. Get out there and start helping customers. Get out there and start stocking the shelves, folding the clothes, doing this, doing it. Like, what? That's how retail is today. It's just, it's a joke. Now, we say, well, what about my wife? Yeah, my wife works retail, absolutely. She's been in retail for a very long time. Um, you know, would she like to do something else? Sure. Good luck, though, especially with the world economy the way that it is. It's very tough right now. Good luck getting into anything out. If you've always been in retail, good luck getting a job outside of retail. You know, it's impossible. There's people that right now, I'm not even kidding you. Go apply for like what you would consider an entry level job anywhere. You're going to have people going in there with college degrees and master's degrees who are unemployed because they lost their job applying for like a line level job somewhere that a teenager should have because that's how bad the economy is. You know, especially with COVID, how everything got destroyed over the last year. So, you know, Kat is essentially stuck working retail jobs. And there's not much you can do about it. <clears throat> um, you know. <laughs> so she has to work these jobs and she goes in there with experience and everything. And, you know, then you see her co co-workers coming in who don't know shit. You know, it's like, it's a joke. Like I said, prime example. Retail job. Oh, we don't, we're not even giving you a schedule. It's two days before maybe your next day you have to work, and we're not even giving you your schedule yet. It's like, what? What kind of place is this, right? <laughs> there are still COVID deniers in chat. Well, I guess you just can't help stupid, right? You just can't help stupid. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Spawn Killers took me $1.30, which is the first tip of the day. And he says, I'm going, I'm going Nostalgia. I'm playing Fable 1. I don't think i played the game since it came out. Uh, I played the remastered edition. Remember they came out for Xbox 360? They, they remade the game. Uh, that's the one that I played. And I thought it was pretty good. Admittedly a little outdated. I thought that Fable 2 was, was a better game overall. But I did enjoy it. COVID doesn't exist. Wow. That's right. And the sun up there, that's just a light bulb, right? Anyway, Societies has subscribed for 11 months. Thank you very much, Societies. Preach has subscribed for 17 months. Thank you, Preach, for the resell. Uh, Twisted, Re Twisted Resistor did a 200-bit cheer. said, get them out of here. Thank you, Twisted Resistor. You're the top cheer of the day now. Thank you for that. A 200-bit cheer. Thank you. Steven Siegel also did a 51-bit cheer. Is it for you, bud? Well, thank you, Steven, but we already had someone unseat that guy, but I appreciate you also trying to do so. Benzugo Lives also did a 90-bit cheer. Said goodbye, hate army. Thank you for that. 
Ub and Zuko live. So three people tried to unseat him. Thank you for that, guys. Snowcrawl Chaser, what are your thoughts on an insane idea Twitch implemented with free refunds on subs? Has it affected you much? I haven't noticed it. That's not new. That's not new. That always happened. I think what it is, is people didn't know about it. Because there's always been troll subs coming in and shit. Always. There's always been troll subs coming in. And you guys have noticed it for years. But I think now, for some reason, it somehow became knowledge that this exists. But for me, you guys have always seen troll subs. There's nothing you can do about it. You just roll with it. You ignore the troll subs, and you move on, right? That's it. You know, just business as usual. I've been trolled every day since I've been on Twitch, and I'll continue to be trolled, and you just roll, roll with the punches and keep moving forward. It's nothing. No big news. <laughs> Okay, um, let's do some shout outs for those who are the top cheers of the week so far. Thank you to those who have cheered this week, including Golden Colts, who's in 10th place, Jay Hawkwood, who's in 9th, Ninstar Rune, who is in 8th, Ampact, who's in 7th place, Twisted Resistor and Major Raya are actually a tie for 5th, uh, Timbo Slice is in 4th, Shirtless Mofo is in 3rd place, Mr. Hurdy Gertie Man is in 2nd, and Virgatodo is in 1st. Thank you guys for that. Also, thank you to everyone who has gifted subscriptions to the channel this week. There's a lot so far this week, so let's get through this. We've got All Things Famous, Sir Spartan King, Kate, Guitar Player 1939, Spawn Killer, Internet Famous McCroy, and Diocletian, who all gifted a single subscription. Now, it's very possible more people did, but that's who's actually showing up on the leaderboard. Thanks to everyone who did. We've also got 672, an honest fan, who each gifted two subscriptions to the channel each. And, in first place, Hallelujah, He Reigns who has gifted four subscriptions. And by the way, I should say this. I want to say thank you to you guys for the past couple of days. You actually did listen to me, and you stopped doing all the dramatic shit with Hallelujah He Reigns and trying to say that every single contribution was from him. You finally listened and said, okay, that's fucked up and immature to do. Thank you for that. Because now we can calm down. We can actually say thank you to the people who deserve the thanks for helping out on the channel, okay? <clears throat> Fruits 07 Cherry said, when I saw new con when I said new controller, I meant new recently. PS5 controller. I think I'm like the new controller a lot when I used when I use it. No, that, that's that's how I answered it. If you remember, he's talking about I think he was talking about a cheer from yesterday. Um, I feel that the PS5 controller is the best controller Sony has ever put out because it finally has a form factor that fits your hand nicely. I honestly feel the other PS controllers were too small for your hands and didn't have enough girth. You know, I did, actually, I did not like the PS4 controller at all. Um, I thought the Xbox One controller, as well as the, the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, had better form factor and just felt better for extended play sessions. It's more like the natural, the natural shape of your hand while holding something, while the PS4 was just too skinny, in my opinion. I didn't like it, and it was too light as well. So I actually enjoy the PS5 controller the most out of all the PlayStation controllers that have ever been created. I think they did a good job there. Well, I received a tip that sounds like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta I gotta see first of all I gotta see if this is even legit. This is a really dumb one. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, I'm not trying to be uh, a, a jerk here, but yikes, some people say dumb stuff. But let's see if this is even a legit tip. It is. Oh boy. Listen to this. Zen Kiger tipped me a dollar thirty. Said, "Do you think natural younger audience on Twitch helps you communicate with Cat better because she's exposed to more modern and young adult terms and memes and stuff at work? I'm sure thanks to chat, you understand more and relate a little better." Yes, because if you're not aware, my wife and I are about thirty years apart in age. All right, she's like twenty-seven and I'm like ninety. Okay, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Yes. Absolutely. You know, she comes home talking about, you know, Cardi B. And I, you know, I'm out there, you know, asking her about like, uh, <laughs> you know, like Aretha Franklin or something. I don't know. This is so stupid. That's the dumbest question. No. There's no giant generational gap between myself and my wife. We're not even a decade apart in age. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Oh, my God. 
We live in the same house, right? We watch the same stuff on TV together. We listen to the same music together. We do everything together. Our life is very much a shared life. If anything, when I come to stream and she goes to work, that's when we're kind of exposed to stuff outside of our normal lives together. So, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, you give me a headache. Seriously, the dumbest question. Yes. We don't, let me tell you. We just totally don't relate. We have nothing in common at all. It's like, you know, men are from, where is it? Men are from Mars, women are from Venus, you know? So, you know, we just have nothing in common at all. That's why we got married. <laughs> we just have, we don't even know how to talk to each other. Like, she starts talking to me with the hip lingo of the kids out there. I don't even know what she's saying. She comes home, she goes, yo, fam, you know, whap up some grub on that stove. Like, <laughs> what? What are you saying? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you give me, I, I seriously don't even know what else to say anymore. You've melted my brain this morning with the stupidest comment I've heard in a long time. <laughs> I can't get over it. Oh my god. Alright, can we like change the subject now? Anyway, does anyone else have anything else to talk about? I've gotten through the contribution. Alright. <clears throat> So I've gone through the contributions. There's nothing else here to really shout out unless anyone ch cheers subs or tips. Unless anyone else has a question or something to discuss, I guess the pre-stream is over. Turtle dude just cheers. So remember turtle worshiping Colt in Red Dead Redemption 2? I thought it was BS that you couldn't join them. <laughs> I, I, I don't really remember them turtle worshiping, but I do remember there being a cult. And I said, oh, it's like a, that's like uh, reminds me of GTA 5. Okay. End Factor said, did I like any of the Bart Simpson NES games? No, they were terrible. They were all LJN. What was it? It was Bart versus the Space Fusions and Bart versus the World, and they both stunk. Both games were terrible. <clears throat> oh, my God. All right. I'm not seeing much else to talk about, guys. I guess we're going to end the pre-stream. And we're going to go on break. Oh, wait. CHMF, we already answered that. He just said, well, am I going to go back to Genshin Impact? We just said I'm probably going to start doing it again this week and see if, if uh, it could be like a chill stream again because we basically need something for late-night chill streams one or two times a week now. I, I get the feeling come April, that won't be the case anymore because there's going to be a lot of new releases. But for now, we do need something to fill the time. And I said that I am actually going to add it to the, the uh, rotation likely over the weekend. <clears throat> Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's it. I think that's it. There's nothing else to talk about. So let's end the pre-stream. I'm going to take a break. Use the restroom. All right. Um, and then we're going to come back. We're going to start up with Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, Resurrection. Like I said, what stage is this? This is the fourth stage? Yeah, I'm trying, uh, one, two, yeah, four stage. And we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, by the way, that means the pre-stream is over. And we did end before noon. So that means we must pay out the penne points wager. And people said, will the pre-stream end by noon PST? The answer is yes, it did. So let's pay this out. Only 37% of people just won penne points. But it ended before noon. That's that. All right, guys, thank you. Break time. I'll be back in a few with gameplay. See you in a bit.